but my name is very important and I have ALS I've had it since June eleventh, uh, two thousand one, and I recently received a robotic arm from Jaco, or the Jaco robotic arm by Canova, a Canadian company. And I would like to do a little review and show you how it works. It is sitting in the resting position right now, which is on my left arm uh, and extension there, and I will put it in the home position. I have three buttons that I use to control my chair. I have this button, which is the arm mode. And there are four modes to the arm. And then I have the all off power to my chair which is down by my knee. And then I have this button, which changes the mode of my chair. Drive mode, um, the tilt, recline, elevate mode, the Bluetooth joystick, and mouse controller mode, and then the Jaco mode, which I am in now. So, this in this mode, I'm ready to do whatever I want. And the mode on one, there is zero, one, two, and three. So, I will start with zero. Zero lets you go forward and towards you. It lets you go left and right I didn't want to hit my top so we'll put it roughly back in the home position and go to B1 B1, let you go up, and go slide away up, and down. And I can pick something off the floor in the down position. And then also, it will rotate the wrist. But when now B two B two is hard to uh, I haven't quite got the grasp on B yet because it yeah, involves several movements that um uh, that involves the wrist and a little servo in between the elbow and the wrist. 
But it will do that. Bring it in down. And I will bring that up. There is a resist about as in any position that is that are more than what a human can can do. I apologize for my speaking. It's a little hard to understand, but I hope you can get the most of it. And then there's B3, which is the fingers open and close. The two fingers on the bottom, they grip tight. The third one is uh, for a, an extra uh, support. For like holding that cup, I'm gonna, I will grab my cup. I'm not gonna move it because it's attached. But I'll show you what I mean. It's got a pretty firm grip on that cup. Even though I don't have it all the way in the hand, it's got a pretty good grip. It won't crush more much, but it's a good firm handshake. And then I want to go to back to the home. I, I hit my mud button and hold it. And then I'm gonna, I like to leave the fingers closed so I don't slip them on something. And then I hit it and hold my mud button again. And it goes back to the resting position. And that is how it works. The rest is up to your imagination. Thanks for watching. I hope you now know what a useful tool that it is for people in my position. Thanks.